Julia went straight to the school's office after getting dropped off. She turned in the note from her mom and was eventually handed a pink slip of paper that said, off-campus lunch pass, and had the date written in the, date, box with an illegible signature at the bottom. She put the pass in her backpack and headed off to class. Whatever had caused her to wet the bed so much last night continued and Julia needed a change during her lit class. She took the hall pass and headed to Mrs. Bernard's office. The door opened quickly after she knocked and Mrs. Bernard smiled and waved her in. Julia had wanted to ask Mrs. Bernard something and didn't waste any time. Mrs. Bernard, do you know about the D-Club? Mrs. Bernard looked a bit surprised. You already know about that? Wow, word sure travels fast. I guess I shouldn't be all that surprised, it is high school after all. Anyways, to answer your question, yes, I do. Julia already knew that. Kate has told her as much, but she wanted to start there. She kept going though and asked. So, do you like tell the people in the club about new people who wear diapers? I mean, is that how they find out? Mrs. Bernard had just come out of the back room and had one of Julia's diapers in her hand. But as soon as Julia asked her question she set it down on the counter and turned to Julia with a very serious look on her face. Julia, I need to make something perfectly clear here. Julia was a bit startled at this new, very serious, tone. I, as I have told you, am not allowed to discuss what happens in here with other people. And I take that very seriously. Now would you mind telling me why you are asking? Did somebody say something that would make you believe? Julia cut her off and began speaking apologetically. No. No, not at all. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Nobody said anything like that. Okay, good. Mrs. Bernard said with a clear sense of relief. I do not want to go through what the previous. Well, never mind, it's just I am glad to hear that. A light went on in Julia's head. She wasn't sure but she had a pretty good idea about something. But I take it you are now aware of the D-Club as well. Who talked to you? Kate. She talked to me about it just yesterday. I guess they are going to lunch today and she invited me to come along. Are you planning to go? Mrs. Bernard asked as she picked up the diaper she had set down and motioned with her head for Julia to lie down. Well, I talked with my mom and she gave me permission to go. I think I will, but I am kind of nervous still. Mrs. Bernard didn't respond for a bit and focused instead on getting Julia's diaper changed. Nobody said anything for a bit. Eventually Mrs. Bernard had the tapes in place and moved to the sink to wash her hands. Well, it's up to you Julia, but I will say this much. I like Kate a lot. She is a really nice girl and you seem like one too. You might make some new friends and that is never a bad thing. Julia just nodded in response. Okay, get back to class young lady. Mrs. Bernard said. When the lunch bell finally did ring, Julia took a deep breath and started walking towards the traffic circle. Julia had never gone off campus at lunch before, but apparently a number of kids did as there was a small herd of people headed that way. She got to the gate that led off campus and to the traffic circle and there was one of the assistant principals, Mr. Suarez, there checking students for passes. Julia fished hers out of her backpack and handed it over when she got there. Mr. Suarez gave it a quick glance, and then handed it back to Julia and grabbed the next pass from a student behind her. Julia walked past the gate and stood at the sidewalk with the traffic circle right in front of her. Kids were getting into a few cars that pulled up, although most students were walking to the parking lot, presumably to get in their own cars. As she looked around, Julia quickly realized that most of these kids were not in D-Club. Julia saw a girl a couple of yards away with tight-fitting black yoga pants on. A quick look at the girls but and Julia knew she wasn't going to be having lunch with her. Julia was still looking at the girl's butt, so she didn't notice the car pull up and stop in front of her. She did however recognize her name when somebody called it out. Julia. 
Julia looked up and saw a girl she didn't know in the passenger seat calling her name. She was about to look around and make sure the girl wasn't talking to some other Julia when she saw Kate, who was behind the wheel, bend over towards the passenger seat and wave. Julia's heart skipped a beat and her stomach tensed up into a knot. She took a breath, stepped towards the car, opened the door to the back seat and got in. Okay, let's roll. Kate said as she pulled the car out of the circle and then made a right turn out of the school.